Welcome back to the channel. This is Matt. You watching No Luck Trucking? Uh, we just rolled up to our pickup. Uh, this is the band equipment going down to Louisiana. Uh, we were supposed to be here at 9 a.m. We showed up at 8.10. And we let the people know that we're here. But uh, it's not looking the greatest so they were talking about being loaded after lunch uh the agent was like it's really important that you're on time you have to be on time and then we get here and there's three trucks and they're not going to get to us until after lunch so it's one of those things like just trucking in general, it's always like, you better not be late to sit in front of this door for six hours. Because if you're 15 minutes late, this could hold us up. But we're going to hold you up. So, uh, we're going to email the agent. We'll see what kind of detention this place pays. Uh, I think we're going to stay on it either way. It paid really well and it delivers Sunday. And then... We have a load that pays really well that picks up Monday. So this is our weekend load pretty much. So like we had talked about before, uh, it's not always in, in our best interest to just cut ties and leave at two hours. Um, especially like places that let us know that it's going to be a while. If they just sat us out here and didn't say that it was going to be after lunch, uh, it'd probably be a little... A little easier to just uh, find something else and move on, but I think this is going to be our, yeah, this is definitely going to be our weekend load. Hey, more land star. <laughs> so this is uh, definitely, the the lot is full of land star trucks, that's for sure. And uh, you have to drive through like a little neighborhood to get here. Wasn't a fan, but wasn't too bad. Is he land star? Maybe? Nope. He's a specialized carrier for concert equipment. Interesting. Oh, he's got ramps and everything. That's nice. Yeah, logistics trailer would be cool. He doesn't have a lift gate, but everything else. But All right, we're going to probably update when we figure out what's going on. It's a little update. Uh, we're next to our Landstar buddy over here. Uh, we're the t only two outbound trucks for today. Uh, we just got backed into the door about five minutes ago. Uh, it is currently 2.15. Our appointment that was very important that we show up on time was 9 in the morning. So, been here for a little while. A little longer than I like, but uh, it's our weekend load. It paid really well. I guess this is what you deal with with uh concert stuff we're gonna get loaded we still have a decent amount of time so i don't we're definitely not in like danger of of missing the appointment or or having to run super hard or anything like that so we should be good so as you can see we are no longer at the shipper. In total, it took about six hours after our appointment time, which math, I think it was about three. Yeah, yeah, the guy came out and gave us, well, told us we were done at three. So we got out of there about 3.15. So overall, not the worst. I mean, I kind of wish we had known going into it that we might have to wait. It sounded more like a show up and you'll get loaded type of deal, but can't be too mad at it. We still have plenty of time on it. And I mean, the other solo driver should have no issue making it. So overall, still a good load. 
I don't know that we are cut out for um, this kind of stuff with the waiting. We have been warned about it, uh, told that we would probably not be good at it, and that might be right. So, but it's cool to try it. And I mean, it's just, I thought I'd be more good with waiting, but I'm very impatient and just want to get driving. But they were nice. They were nice that they let us, it was nice that they let us use their restrooms. The facility was nice. I'm going to get us to a truck stop. We are currently on 71 South, still in Ohio. Made it through Columbus, straight through Columbus because we are not hazmat, uh, which actually went surprisingly well because normally I take the outer loop and there's always tons of traffic. So, but made it through there at rush hour. Gonna get us down to a Petro somewhere in Kentucky. Another 215 miles from here. So gonna be driving a little bit later in the night than I normally do, but that's okay. Yeah. Well, surprise, as always, truck driving is a, gotta be on your toes. So I was going down 71, just hit the Kentucky line and I saw a road sign. I don't know why this always happens to me. That said 71 South closed at mile nine. So that's in like 160, math is hard, 60 something miles, 160 something miles. But I stopped at this rest area that just happened to be like a mile after. Quarter miles, take exit 173 on the right to I-71 South. That sign and uh, decided to check it out and they do have the interstate closed. It just said seek alternate route. There's not really a great alternate route from here, but we can probably cut over on a state route if it's still closed when we get up because we're just gonna stop here, sleep for a little bit and then Matt will take out uh, in the morning and we'll have to figure out if it's still closed. So that's fun. Just a little, just a, a little, I don't know. Just a little, little kink in the in the plans. Didn't make it to that uh, truck stop, but we'll still stop there in the morning for fuel. Just filled up at the Bardstown TA. We're on 65 South still. Well, not still. We made it over there. We had to take the the long outer loop from uh, 71. So we woke up. Uh, we actually stayed at that truck stop or the uh, rest area last night that Liz got us to. And then she went in in the morning to use the restroom and they had closed the restrooms. Uh, no warning, no signs, nothing. And then I got to leave so that we could go down to the next exit to the TA. We find out the TA is closed, but the on-ramp to get back onto the interstate uh, was coned off because of construction. So they had a yield sign, and I guess, so the car side, they had a uh, break in the the barrels, but uh, they did not have a break in the barrel for the trucks. So I'm just like riding down the lane until we came up to the construction workers, and I had to cut through the cones and back into the uh, into the main traffic on 71. But uh, it was early enough in the morning that there wasn't there was like one or two cars here and there so it wasn't uh wasn't too bad to merge back into the traffic it was just a little weird wake up and everything's closed uh so we've made it down a couple exits down well actually we went over to the uh, scale house they had a pretty nice restroom at the scale house and uh still got 690 miles total we're gonna put in some good mileage tonight and then uh, or today and then uh deliver in the morning so i'm hoping that this delivery isn't a uh you have to be here it's because we were told when we booked it it was vitally important to show up on time as one huge thing you have to be on time like okay cool yeah we're always early but to be on time to wait six hours to get loaded that ain't it. So hopefully the unload goes quicker, smoother, but we'll see. 
But uh, like Liz said, maybe this concert stuff just isn't for us. You know, if they were paying a day rate, absolutely. Sit us in the parking lot, whatever. The truck's yours all day, but um, when you tell us an appointment time and that we have to be there on time, and then they don't load us for six hours, that, that's that's not my uh, my idea of a good good freight. Luckily, the the rate's really good, but other than that, like if it didn't pay five dollars a mile for eight hundred and fifty miles, uh, I don't know. We probably would have gambled and, and found something different. We got a text late in the evening yesterday from the point of contact of where we're going. Uh, he said that. The venue has approved overnight parking, but it was so late in the afternoon, like hardly does anything, I guess, unless, I don't know, maybe he caught a uh, solo driver that was still driving or something, I'm not sure, but it doesn't help them, it didn't help us. We were already in a, in a truck stop spot, so um, our plan was to get there early anyways and just kind of wait on their lot. So there's a marshalling yard. So this is pretty much just like a concert load minus the uh, day rate and the organization, apparently. So we're going in expecting to be pretty much kept all day. Uh, he has eight trucks and I think they have like two docks. So it's gonna be a while. Uh, they're gonna put us in some sort of order and we're gonna wait for a while, but we're gonna to try to use the the time for productive means. I'm gonna make a a video about how we find the loads and uh, like high paying rates and stuff in this type of market. Uh, we need to catch up on House of the Dragon, new episode. No, actually that's tonight. Okay, scratch that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna to try to like nap sleep do whatever we want to do during the day not sit up waiting for somebody to corral us I guess so we're gonna make the best of it knowing that we're gonna go in and that they're gonna probably keep us all day uh, and hopefully the agent keeps to his word and takes care of us on the detention on both ends uh, from what I understand concert loads usually do because otherwise a lot of people would not want to uh, do them again but I don't know. Uh, I know we said it before, but I just don't think this concert stuff's for us. We'll stick to our hazmat stuff where the people uh, like to see us and get us in and out pretty quick. But, you know, it was a good load. It was good, uh, good to try. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, paid five grand. It was a kind of weekend load. And, yeah, you can't really beat that, but I don't know. We'll try to go in and practice patience. We'll see how it works. All right, we're rolling up. It's like the, uh, the roundabout way to get over here uh, because it looked more open. Now we got to take up all the lanes. Don't be turning. Brookshire Grocery Arena. That's where we're going. And it's vitally important that we get there on time to wait all day. <laughs> if that doesn't sum up trucking, man, I don't know what does. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, a little Kubota dealer. Um, let's see. Turkey boys. I assume they were gonna be. I thought they were gonna be out here in the. No, he really. Uh, I see a Landstar trailer over there. So yeah, I guess we're gonna roll up to the gate and see what's up.
somebody somewhere saw us. Hey, there's our homie that was waiting all day with us. Yeah. Figured he was going to sleep here if he got the uh, opportunity, which is cool. But like I said, I, I didn't know if we were... Uh, if there was going to be places to park here. Okay, so there's four docks total, it looks like. Alright, let's swing around. Yeah, I didn't see the blue one there. Well, I guess the place that we got loaded at, it, only, it was only those two. It was our homie in the way, Volvo, and us. Let's see, where do we want to park? Yeah, we'll park by the homie. Yeah, he was pretty nice. We talked for a while because uh, we didn't really have much else to do. Him and his wife used to uh, team drive for CFI. People don't misunderstand the situation uh, like I, I'm sarcastic and like to, to take jabs at it but this uh, this load was really good and it's a pretty cool opportunity I mean you don't get to do concert loads all the time so this isn't like a tour so we're not going to the next stop or anything like that but uh, we're hauling the equipment from the storage over to the uh, first stop on the concert tour so they can rehearse and then from there, they'll probably bring in trucks to do the actual tour. They'll pick up from here and then go to the next venue. Um, yeah, it, it just, it wasn't really explained. So this guy explained it to us as like, yeah, it's going to be really easy. You get in there, you get the equipment, we're going to take it over to the rehearsal. Easy peasy. It's not like a big tour, so it's not going to be the whole deal. So we were kind of led astray a little bit. And like, I mean... If anybody's been watching the channel for any length of time, you know that the whole like sitting and monopolizing your time thing that everyone says, oh, that's just trucking, it just doesn't fly with me. I, I don't like when people monopolize their time. So in this, it was like, he's like, it's very important. You have to be on time. I was like, cool. Yeah, no problem. We're always on time. We're early even. So that last place, like we were there super early and they didn't even plan to load us until after lunch which was like 132 ish so we got out of there at three and then this place he's like it's vitally important you get there on time so the guy texted us yesterday and said there's eight trucks so we um got here on time and uh it's gonna be probably an all-day thing so i mean I'm, I'm not it's not like we're bit or at it or anything you know I, I like to make fun of the situation just because what are you going to do you know so hopefully they'll take care of us with some uh, detention we're just going to go in it understanding that they're going to take up most of our day and just going to relax and just let it happen but it's Sunday so what else are we going to do and then we have a pickup tomorrow I uh, kind of messed up on that one she asked what time we wanted to be there and I said the first appointment you can get because she said between eight and like three so when she called back she said great i got you an appointment for 5 30 in the morning i was like oops but we'll still be there it's good though so, well uh i'll keep you updated as soon as something happens or somebody comes talks to us or we get in a door something whatever whatever is going to happen so if there's a silver lining to this whole adventure, you know, figuring out that concert loads probably aren't for us, uh, the guys, the other Landstar drivers that were here, uh, we had a great conversation, all of us just 
standing around chatting about Landstar trucking, whatever, our hobbies outside of trucking. Uh, it was it was awesome to just chat with other drivers. We had a good time. Just passing the time. Liz is in here making pancakes with bacon and everything. So uh, it looks fantastic. But yeah, I guess he's guiding a truck in now. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be. They're getting through them fairly quick. I mean, they, they just started 30 minutes ago and they've already gotten uh, one 53 foot truck, two box trucks and a hot shot unloaded so far. So I don't know if, if the agent's saying eight trucks, if he was counting those or not, but either way, it was, uh, it was pretty cool talking to those guys. The, um, his coordinator or somebody, whoever came over and talked to us, um, about the order that we're going to get unloaded, I think. We are next in the grand scheme of things. I guess they're figuring out who has the stage stuff. Who has, we have PA equipment, apparently. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's not as bad when you can chat with people and not just sit in your truck stewing about <laughs> the long wait that you weren't prepared for. But uh, I guess everyone booked with the same agent they kind of got the same deal of like take it or leave it and not a whole lot of questions were asked but we are still in the holding pattern i will probably pick up a little bit i don't know let me let me pan over here so that's the uh the backing he's pretty pretty tight on on the dock yeah I mean, he'll make it for sure. But he was parked over here to the right of us, so it wasn't set up perfectly for it. But it's not too bad. Our truck is so filthy. I need to get it washed when we get out of here. Uh, depending on the time that we get out of here, I guess. But yeah. They have a whole crew unloading, so it shouldn't be too long, question mark. <laughs> I don't know. So this, this is turning out a lot better than than we went in thinking. We'll give it a shot, but I, I just don't think in future that the tour loads are for us or concert or show or events, whatever. Anything that you have to sit around and wait, 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 but you have to be there on time, it's not for us. But it's a learning opportunity. Try something new, right? Well, I definitely haven't done a tour load yet. I do think that that would be a totally different thing. Yeah, I don't know. We might revisit it in the future, but you just got to ask a lot more questions. <laughs> this was sold to us as easy peasy, in and out, but uh, yeah. All right, we'll pick up later.
so close to one-shotting it, but it is a weird, weird angle, and you're doing more than like a 90 degree. So the end of the trailer was just a little bit off, but it's a pretty cool place. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm coming around to some of this. It's a little more fun than we had imagined, but uh, mostly because of the people, I think. Because uh, this is, some parts of this is what we don't like, which is the whole waiting, like sh being there on time and waiting all day. Don't really care for that part. But one positive thing, uh, Fred, the homie in the, the Lancer Volvo, uh, Liz cooked him breakfast. Got some fried eggs and some bacon out of it. One person wanted my breakfast. Right. She tried to offer it to all the people, but everyone was being too polite. So I just told that guy, I was like, hey man, have you eaten? He's like, no, I just had coffee. I'm like, cool, Liz is making some breakfast. I'll bring you some. He's Hopefully like, okay. the eggs were done enough to his liking. Yeah. Kind of threw them out of the pan onto the plate when you said we had to back in. I mean, they were fried. Yeah, they were fried. The top was. Yeah, I just flipped them over. So they should, they're, they're at least somewhat fried. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we'll uh, fill in, because right now it's 10 o'clock, so basically an hour after our appointment time, we're in the door. That's not yeah. actually bad. I mean, this... And they've been getting people out Yeah, this so end quick. is exactly what I wanted. It was the, the shipping end. That's what I thought that the shipping side was going to be. Right. Because even with the other, there's there's only two more trucks I mean, that need to be unloaded, and we're at 10 o'clock, yeah. so... Yeah, like I said, the whole, we'll give them three hours three, free, and then see how long it takes after that. I don't know if they normally take that long at that place, but there's apparently also a lot of people from a lot of other places here, so maybe not all uh, yeah. concert uh, equipment places are the same way. But. I guess uh, maybe if the guy comes back out, I'll uh, get him to sign the manifest so we can get paid. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to turn it in tomorrow. I want to talk to the agent first, see what he's going to do about the other place. It doesn't look like this place is going to hold us long enough to even need attention, but so this is what <laughs> I was hoping like for. <laughs> right. This that's, is good. That's what we want. <laughs> if this is the way it is, I'm, I'm changing my, my opinion on on concert tour load show load whatever you want to call it Lo concert logistics musical logistics there we go music logistics i mean i do think it is normally a lot of waiting when you're waiting on the show yeah but you get paid after it. The show, you get paid for your time there. that's a different thing than going to the warehouse that stores the stuff and then waiting there and then bringing it. that's this is a different yeah apparently the band has this place for a week they're gonna do rehearsal for a while with all the bands and stuff and then this is going to be the first stop of the tour and then they're going to load up a ton of trucks and they're going to follow them through the tour so one of the guys was talking i guess talking to the agent they had 55 landsar trucks for the lady gaga concert that was recent 55 53 foot trailers that is a lot yeah and at that point you would have to have a separate space for everybody if you're paying in. everybody like between seven and ten grand a week yeah it's Ooh. <laughs> the music industry has a lot of money in it <laughs> that's like a half a million Ooh. wow wow all right well we'll update when we get unloaded can we talk about this breakfast for a minute though <laughs> Scrambled eggs, bacon, pancakes with bacon. Mm. Who, who else has this in their truck right now? All right, 10.30, we're out of the door. Got the doors closed. Uh, our homie Fred over here is getting backed in. And we got the, the manifest signed. I think we're good to go. So, I don't know. Like part of me likes the community aspect of the the show stuff, but uh, I don't like the waiting around without having a day rate. So if they paid for the whole day, regardless of the miles, it'd be perfectly fine. But this was this was a per mile rate, so um, 
Yeah, it just felt a little bit different. Not to mention we have general freight to haul after this, whereas like a tour, you know that you are going to be heading to the next venue. So even if you're the last truck, you know you can still make it over there and um, you know it, it's it's a little bit different than than going to haul general freight after this, but I don't know. I liked I liked this this half of the the load was very redeeming. The first half was a little rough, but it's only because they knew ahead of time that they weren't going to load us until afternoon, but. We still had to be there at nine, but either way, we'll uh. And then got there at eight. <laughs> we got there at eight because it was vitally important to be on time. So we showed up early, like we always do. And um, yeah, but I don't know. I I, I enjoyed this half of it. These guys, there was like, there were so many people with hard hats, and I don't think there was easily 25 people waiting so by the time there was like a constant train of people coming in and out of the the trailer with the pa equipment and stuff like that it was wild they got us done so fast once they started it was unreal like that is peak efficiency i like that so now we need to swing wide and there is a truck in the extra swing room. That's cool, that's cool. A little personal vehicle, a little four-wheeler. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> I hate that term so much. Because everyone says it so condescendingly. I think that's the issue. All right, uh, so we won't have extra swing room, but we have enough. Oh yeah, we gonna be good. this way all right we good and we did figure out that there is not if we go to the left out here it's like a little cut through it goes to the road that uh, we were considering turning in on because the straight shot off the main road that we we got here from but we went around this one has a light so I'm going out to the right we're going back around it adds like I don't know, a mile maybe whatever but it uh there's a light coming out of here whereas the other there's like six lanes of traffic no light so it doesn't sound fun in the middle of the day mirrors adjusted i don't know something about adjusting the mirrors at night and then you get it during the day and you're like what are, what was i even looking at all right we're gonna get down so we're heading to Walmart after this because we really need to stock up. We've been kind of running a little bit tighter runs the last couple days. So we haven't really stopped anywhere to stock up on groceries. The then we really need to get a truck wash. So we're doing that today. No questions. We're getting a truck wash. It is filthy. I would like to polish the wheels, but it is so hot in Louisiana that that's probably not going to happen. But just getting a truck wash is step one. One half mile, be in either of the two left lanes, then turn left on Barksdale Boulevard. All right, let's get over. Yeah, truck wash, vitally important. Um, after that, we're gonna get to the TA that's literally within eye shot of the next pickup. And we're gonna sleep and wake up for our 5.30 in the morning appointment. Sheesh, that's back to reefer days. But, I mean, I told her the, for the earliest appointment they could get, but I was also under the impression that the hours that she gave us was like eight to something, something. What is right? I don't like, like it. The Ooh, the lock. All right, we'll get down the road. I'll pick up a little bit later. I do love a Walmart with truck parking. So we got in here, there is like this is the only truck parking that actually swings out to the main road there were some by this curb where i guess i don't know maybe you would nose in i don't know there's people parked behind us in the swing room so 
It's a little difficult. I had to readjust, and then one of the guys moved after I yeah. struggled for a tiny bit. But we're in there. I'm gonna run in, grab some stuff. I really want to get some stuff to polish the wheels. They are so hurt. So after we get this truck wash, I think I might spend some time uh, revitalizing the wheels. Well, the uh, truck wash was a no-go. So we got over here, it's about to like torrentially downpour. And then the wind is so strong that it's uh, uh, kicking up so much dust in the air that it would be pointless to go get a truck wash right now. So we're gonna pick up tomorrow, maybe swing by if it's not bad, or once we start heading up north, then we'll, um, look for a blue beacon most likely this one over here is like an off-brand and it's kind of expensive so i don't want to just like go there and then immediately waste the hundred and whatever dollars for the wash <sighs> it's been a long day lots of up and down that was like a roller coaster of emotions you know it started out um way rough and we were like never again but then it ended with like I could probably be convinced to do another one of these. Um, from the sounds of it, the other people didn't have the same kind of weight that we did to get loaded. So I don't know. I don't know what was up with that. And it didn't sound like the agent knew that it was going to be like that either. But whatever. It happens. Sometimes it's an off day or they have a lot of stuff to do before they can load. But uh, who knows? They could have been waiting for those trucks to load power trucks with their stuff from the uh, inbound trucks but I think we're gonna end this video here um, it's been an adventure it is done now uh, we're parked over at the TA about to go get a shower as soon as it stops raining so badly and then um, hmm, what is the service truck stopping over here for well anyways Thank you for watching and we will catch you on the next one. All right, this is a little edit after the video. So this is what I was talking about. The ground is, uh, there's like an inch of standing water. This poor uh, tech over here just rolled up right when it started dumping. So uh, yeah, about that truck wash. So we'll just have to wait one more day.